Back on the road tonight for the Binghamton Devils. It is a Tuesday night matchup, 7 p.m. puck drop. Behind me, Yardman Arena in downtown Belleville, Ontario. The Senators and the Devils. Devils head coach Rick Kowalski pleased with Saturday night's performance against Lehigh Valley. Of course, the night before, the Devils dominating the Belleville Senators, and they hope to continue that here tonight. Uh, yeah, I thought... Uh you know, I, I thought we didn't manage the puck, especially in the first period, uh, coming out of our end on our breakouts. Uh, they did a good job on the four check, but they weren't, they were aggressive, but they weren't physical. And I, I felt we, we didn't have enough composure in, in situations. You got to be able to make plays under pressure. You know, this team's going to be more of a physical team here tonight, but um, we just we just didn't manage the puck enough, and they were able to spend a lot of time in the in our end. I thought we did a good job defending, and obviously Kenny made saves when we needed. But you know, when you're constantly playing in your end, it's it's uh, it's tiring. It doesn't leave you a lot of legs to go the other way. Uh, when we did get up ice and get in, obviously we scored first, which was good, and and certainly had some real good chances. But I told the guys after, I think certainly in the first period. Uh, the zone possession was probably about 75-25% in their favor and, and uh, that, that makes for a long night that uh, can, can uh, you know, cost you later on in the game when you need legs. Some big news coming down this morning. The New Jersey Devils assigning goaltender Corey Snyder here to Binghamton. He joined the team for morning skate and is expected to get the start tonight as he comes back from injury. What is he looking forward to most getting back into game action? Um, just want to get some game action in. You know, I feel pretty good in my conditioning. I've been I've been working pretty hard the last week in, in New Jersey. So uh, I think, you know, the staff and I felt that it would be good to to get get some, like I said, just game situations, whether it's traffic, uh, you know, people coming to the net, some contact, things like that. So uh, it's been a while. It's been over five weeks now, I think, and uh, it can't hurt. You know, it's never a bad thing to get some experience, and uh, you know, hopefully, I can play well for these guys. I know they've been they've been playing well lately, but uh, you know, for me to get back into the swing of things before jumping into a playoff race that we're in New Jersey. What would you consider a successful game for you? Well, again, obviously, I think the goal is to win. You want to play well and win, and uh, that's the, anytime you step on the ice, that's the, that's the goal. But uh, obviously, for me. Um, just making sure that I, I get through, um, you know, injury free, pain free, that, that my body feels good, that uh, the game, you know, I feel like I'm up to speed with the game and all that stuff. So a lot of different things, but, you know, I'm not trying to put too much into it. I just want to make sure I go out there and treat it like a, you know, an NHL game and, and try to do my best for these guys. The Devils put 50 plus shots on net Friday night against Belleville and they'll look to do that again here tonight. Uh, obviously, a different type of team than we played the other night, but expect them to be a little more aggressive on the forecheck. So, uh, you know, our key points tonight are going to be getting back the pucks quick and moving it. And when we moved it clean against these guys, we were able to put pucks behind them or challenge them with speed when they when they didn't have tight gaps. And I think the biggest thing is um, we had a, a, a lot of ozone possession time, exact opposite of the 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 night after against Lehigh Valley where you know they had to just kind of throw pucks to the neutral zone and we were able to get it right back up and get after them and as a result spent a lot of time with the puck and a lot of time in the offensive zone and, and hence the result of uh, big shot totals. Hope you can join us tonight in Belleville. We are on the air at 640 with the M&T Bank countdown to face off here on the Devils Radio Network. That's U.S. Country 96.9 and 680 AM WINR. You can also listen via the iHeart Radio app online at BinghamtonDevils.com or you can watch the game on AHL Live. 7 p.m. puck drop from Yardman Arena in Belleville, Ontario on Devils Vision. It's another edition of Devils Game Day. I'm Rob Lapolis.